Hello, everybody. It's SOD Matt Haven here today. I'm also with Blade. Hi, everybody. What's yeah. Up? Whoever gifted me the the CCL, um, just a heads up. I have no idea who it was because for whatever reason, um, I have all my matches from the 25th, which is seven days ago, and. Whenever I go over this and I have to scroll, it doesn't tell me who gifted me a tank. Whoever did, thank you. Um, unfortunately, this is the most matches I've played in the last 30 days. And I did put some games in. I do have these recorded. I wanted to make a video on the Yag Tiger, uh, but I got hit with some information that utterly sucks. And yeah, I don't. <laughs> Uh, basically, um, the property that I that we live at got sold again, and the second time that they, it got sold, uh, we're essentially getting uh, victed out, even though we've been here for fourteen years. All right, um, that sucks. It does. It does. So we're we're moving into my grandpa's basement, and me and my sister are going to share a room. Uh, real fast, Star Trek Online. I like Star Trek. I like the Star Trek universe. I like everything about this. Me and Blade have played a lot of Star Trek. Comes a down lot to. of Star Trek. Like that's yeah. an that's how we met. Um, if I go to yep. stats for my gameplay by myself, 117 days, uh, 26 million dilithium tow bridge officers missions completed, and then a lot of people that I play with. Blade, I think you actually might be higher than yeah. You are higher at 261 yeah, I, days. Yeah, that's hilarious. Holy crap! But I played um, it almost a year straight. Yeah. Oh, well, you're you're getting you're 100 days off. You're getting close. All right. But All right, um. So <laughs> you're two, you're two you're getting close anyway <laughs> you know like the atx 60 uh oh it's a cold war is is this entire tank cold war it is oh okay thanks war gaming because i was actually excited about the star trek update like i'm i'm not gonna lie i was excited I never read over the patch notes. I never went over it. It popped up on Discord. All right, let me take a look here. The, the most simplest thing that they can do is this. If you go to tier nine inside the premium tech tree, guess what's sitting inside the premium tech tree here in tier nine? Uh, where are you? All right, I, I'm, I'm still in tier eight. I am blind as a bat, apparently. Um, oh, in AATX 60. That's in World War II. Preview vehicle. Let's take a look at this. Wow. It looks very similar to something. Oh, here, let's do something. Let's go back. Oh. Wow. That looks very similar. Huh. It looks like it would have made a really good camo set. <laughs> Just think? saying. Yeah, like, give a whole new tank the, the Cold War and give us the skin. Give us a skin for World War II. Also, um, I am a Star Trek fan. I'm a Star Wars fan. Uh, I like Star Trek. However, by uh, camouflage, can I please see this on a tank? Um, right. Yeah. The the Borg camo. All right. I'm gonna be completely honest. This is not Borg. This is like circuitry, not Borg. That doesn't look anything close to Borg. Whenever I look at it, it just looks like circuits and I can't look at it on a vehicle and I'm not buying any of these. Um, the Klingon camo set. It's literally just it, that looks like a defender, um, an escort variant, and then I can't tell what the big yellow one is. And then defiant, an outrageous amount of defiance. Uh, <laughs> OK, um, and then uh, whatever Klingon tactics camo is, it just looks like a map. That you would look at inside of the MMO, but yeah, just I mean, some people might be nostalgic about this, but I look at I just to me this is half-assed. I'm gonna be honest, this is it looks bad. I mean, some of it looks stupid. It does. Like I mean, it just looks stupid. The only thing I remember is playing with a couple of guys, and one of them named uh, his engineer faggots. Yeah, just so he could say "beam me up, faggots." All right. <laughs> and that was hilarious. Uh, um, yeah, how's it twenty percent off? 
Like, how's it 25% off? Like, 2100 is the base price of this. Like, you're not fooling me with your discounted price. You see, if I was capable of going into my garage and going into appearance <laughs> and then buying the camo full price here, or even being able to view the camo inside here, then I would be super happy. But I can't. I can't look at the camo, so I'm not buying any of them because... To me, I'm not going to do Star Trek a, a discourtes by running something that a Star Trek fan doesn't want. Because I don't want this. This looks like crap. Except for the commanders. All right. Uh, and, the can and the commanders are just basic commanders. They're not well, even like a... I prefer you know. basic commanders. However, um, do I prefer the fact that I'm spending 2,000 gold for a standard commander? Did, did you look at that, Blade? By the way, Captain well, James I mean, G James T. Kirk is a standard commander. He is not a hero. He is not yep. um, whatever the heck they call commanders now. He's not a three star. He's right. a standard commander. Uh, right. same, same thing and about he's Spock. Twelve fifty. Yeah, twelve fifty by like by himself. Standard commander for twelve hundred and fifty gold together for two thousand. Oh, that's a great Four deal. Five. I know, great yeah, deal. No. Um. <laughs> bones will cure you don't get me wrong mccoy is cool like it, it, you know i I love the movie dude whenever they have the uh the giant swarm and sabotage starts playing oh my god like that's the moment i was in theaters and i remember seeing people jump out of their chairs you know like oh, this is freaking awesome yeah i was one of them but um it's, it's a uh no, it, it, it just all, it, all it three is of the all three really are good. really good, except yeah. for the series. Like the ser it takes a lot to watch the whole series. There's a lot of Star Trek. I, I I've watched all of them. <laughs> yeah, well, Some whoever twice, I did <laughs> so, like Deep Space dude, Nine. Dude, I'm I was a... I'm actually probably gonna buy all the movies this weekend. This the, weekend uh, coming up. Yeah. I need, I need something to have in the background so I have something to do. Oh, gosh, I'm dropping stuff. But, um, yeah, I personally, I don't see the value in any of the Star Trek at all. None of this. There's no value to me here. And then the mega set for 18,400. Yeah, I'm good. Um, if there was like a full camo, yeah. camo set by itself for like 3,000 gold, I would consider buying it. I would, but I could see it. Yeah, just all five of these camos for seven fifty each, like, and then the only bundle that it's connected to is the mega bundle pack. Like, yeah, sorry, but no, I just I don't see the benefit. I don't think this is gonna sell well, in my honest opinion. I'm I'm getting sick of reskin tanks. All right, I want right. skins. I don't want reskins. I want legitimate skins. And the the thing that's hilarious is what season is it right now? It's heavy metal. Okay. Is that what it is? It's a heavy metal yeah. season. How is Star Trek <coughs> heavy metal? Like, uh, I would not consider Beastie Boys as heavy metal. Okay. <laughs> right. You know, and then Sabotage. That's Beastie Boys, right? I'm having a brain fart here. I think, yeah, 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 whatever, whatever it is. All right. I, w I was sitting there thinking to myself, who played Captain Kirk at work today? And I'm like, Kurt Russell. Oh, God, someone is going to slap me because I said that name. Right. Because that is not Kurt Russell. All right. Are you, he, are you he, trying to get. No, no, no. Kurt Russell did play in some space show. All right. Guardians of the Galaxy. He played some almighty God. All right. He was in my head at the time. And I still can't remember the actor that played um, it's, Kurt. Yeah, but Yet, that's, that's not Star Trek. I know it's not Star Trek. Leave me alone. Yet I own. Okay. Gosh, dang it. Uh, I'm, now I'm all lost. I was going to say something else. Um, no, no, I, I own. I own. Um what was it? Dungeons and Dragons, the movie that he played in. And I still can't remember who he is, but he's a good actor. I just can't remember his name. I'm not worried about it, but uh, so, someone can slap me if they want. <laughs> I'll have to deal with it. No, I just, I, I feel like this is a dishonest, like a, a disservice to Star Trek. Like what, what the heck is this? Um, the Gorn to Gorn. That's a Gorn. 
It's on the second page, on the very far right, uh, for oh. 680 gold. That's a Gorn? That my sister could store? draw something in the store. Yeah, my sister could draw something better than that. All right, I I'm done looking at this because it's just like a full-on diss to World of Tanks, and I think they're good. Um, there's a lot of things that need to be done. For instance, this store needs to be flushed out. There needs to be more premiums inside this store at all times. Not in DLC. All right. Uh, speaking of which, Heavy Metal Starter Pack, I actually think I already have this. Uh, just in case, desktop point of view. I love Mass Effect. You guys are... Uh... Alright. One of the most irritating things that I'm going to show off real fast is going to be this. I'm not going to enter in any of my data right here. None of it. I'm going to back out of this. And now that I backed out, um, I did put a ticket in. So I kind of hope they fix that. Star Trek. Alright. Boosters, three days of premium. We're going to hit buy. It's going to do the whole process. It's going to pop up. But I'm going to cancel this. All right. I guess they did fix my ticket. All right. So what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to bring you back to my desktop for two seconds. Uh, going to enter it in. Already owned. So now here's the issue. Um, already owned right here. Thing is, I only entered in the... Uh, ticket to do it and I never accepted anything from it I never did anything from it I simply just opened it there was no exception or anything else this is something that I, I did submit a ticket on and I want them to fix it so like whenever you get the starter packs if you ever click A on them Blade it automatically yeah. redeems them period instead of taking really? you to the store and making it to where like you control whenever you activate it or right. any of that it, it's like auto redeemed wow like hands down auto redeemed and they need to fix that they need to make it to where it's like you redeem it when you want to redeem it because auto redeem i remember the last time i did it, it was like it was on a tuesday and i stopped buying gold like i stopped buying premium time in world of tanks and it 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 basically full sent it and just gave me the premium time gave me everything inside of it without me ever consenting to wanting it at that moment it just handed me stuff. And I mean, I guess I'm complaining about something free, but it's like, I want to control whenever I get it. I don't want to be forced to take it right then and there. Because some people right. like to use premium time on the weekends. You know? For me, I would like to use... All right, it hasn't registered yet, but it, I know for a fact it's already registered. Um, So it'll take like <coughs> an hour before anything happens. And then offers... Uh, free daily chest in all honesty your free daily chest should be sent to your chests each time that you log in you should be capable of stacking these things up a lot like you you should get one every single time you essentially log in and you don't need to redeem it every single time you log in right you're kind of forced to redeem it every single time yeah see they're both check marked right here I don't know if the heavy metal starter pack was checkmarked whenever I first uh, entered this, but now the star track is, and I never accepted it. Uh, well, how to put it? These tank war chests, never buy these. That is such a waste. I'm burnt out on tanks, and I've been burnt out for quite some time. Also, this light hey, tank looks like it's going to be... Play with me anymore. Dude, I don't play with anyone anymore. Like, I've been playing with Toto over in War Thunder. I've been putting a lot of time in the War Thunder. But I... Like, I want to play tanks. I do. But my problem is, is playing tanks, making content on it, and then get, getting stuck. You know? Or the the reality is, like, if I want... How, how to put it? I might turn into a React channel for World of Tanks instead. <laughs> because the more that I play it, the more irritated that I get. Like, I want to see a Super Sherman. I want to see them take the Tier 6. I've mentioned this a couple of times. I even mentioned this to you, Blade. I want to see them take the E2 right here. And all I want to see them do is this. Let's take the Easy 8 Take a look at that frontal armor. Okay. Uh, now let's go to the E2. 
they're pretty dang similar. All right. Well, that's 100 millimeters of frontal armor right here. So we can come over, look at 101 millimeters. Uh, let's take a look at the EZ-8. Take a look here. It's what, 63? Yeah, 63, plus the uh, top armor here that comes up on the inside. So it's like, what, 38, 40? Oh, I missed it. How the heck did I miss it? Okay, it's 50. So, for instance, I want to see them take the frontal portion of an E8 and put it on the E2 as spaced armor. And then bump it up to tier 8. Give it a 90 millimeter. You know? Leave the har armor the way that it is. Maybe buff the turret from 177. Uh, buff this to like 200. And then give it like 150 millimeters behind the gun mantle. And then take the turret from 152 and bump this up to like 220. And then give us a new tier 8. Bump this from 38 millimeters on the sides to 42. That way 122s can't overmatch it. But 130s still can. And right there. I would be super happy. Because World of Tanks was built on nostalgia. But whenever I play nowadays, it's like, where's the nostalgia in playing tanks that literally never existed? Um, for instance, Iron Arnie. This thing technically never existed. It was never actually built. T-57, concept design. E-5, concept design. The last real American heavy tank was the M103. This was the yep. last official real heavy tank. And then when we come over to tier 10, all these are fake. Even like the M the MBTB right here. This is technically fake. I could be wrong. Nineteen sixty four. It's the one they gave away for the ten year. I'll have to look this one up, not hundred percent sure. Because I don't recognize it from any like anything I've looked over for tanks. Like I just don't recognize this. And that's why I think it, it's a fake tank. It's just a blueprint tank, but I could be wrong. Um Yeah. For instance, I think tier seven and tier six is like a really good tier to do like experimental tanks in. But whenever I play my tier eights, well not my tier eights, my tier sixes, I don't feel like I can compete anymore in terms of just output. In in all honesty, I feel like there needs to be a massive rework between tier five, like four or five and six need a massive rework. For instance, they added a new map too, didn't they? Yeah, they added in province and it's super bad. It's super bad. It's super bad. <laughs> like it, you can be shot from across the map and never spot them. I've seen a couple of videos online um, from just random uploads that were 10,000 damages, like damage games back to back. So, I mean, it, it's pretty bad. That's pretty bad. Yeah, it's pretty bad. In all honesty, though, um, Thunderbolt, all the Sherman variants, including the Tier 5, anything that has a 76 millimeter, I feel like they need to bump the damage up to like 170, 180 damage, and then just increase the reload. To like five seconds. What do you think, Blade? Yeah. Bump their damage yeah. up, increase the reload by a second. I because yeah. they don't hit it hard enough. Needs to damage for sure. Yeah, they don't hit hard enough at all to make people like hesitate at all. Yep. You know, I like agree. It, it's just it's bad. Well, it's kind of the way I feel when I play the. Uh, oh, can't think of the one tank, but. Yeah. Uh, um. The auto loader, the American auto loader, um, it does what I think they just boosted it to like 280 damage now, but it was um, like a 220. Which one? What, what's here? God, hang on, it was a tier eight. Oh, the American, um, the eradicator, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it, it was always a 280. Well, I mean, because you end up against the tier 10. And you come around the corner and you shoot one time and you hit him for, you know, 260 because you didn't high roll. You know, no, you I, didn't even I feel like the eradicator. Roll. And he looks at you and laughs and just runs over you because yeah. you can't do enough damage to him. Even if you fired all three shots, by the time you reload, you're dead. Yeah, well, no, like <laughs> the, the eradicator, I think, is in a really good spot. Like uh, whatever comes on the tier eight, I think 280 alpha is amazing. Like that's really good damage output. 
Not to mention that 32 pounder gun. You got a 94 millimeter on the Eradicator. I'd like it a lot better at 320. Yeah, but that's a 94 millimeter at 320. Like, do you so want to know you, what I, mean, I would really right, like, so you Blade? Add a couple seconds to the reload, because I mean it that does have a like 18 second. Benefit it. I would. I would. Uh, like, it. It's a. It's a training tank, Blade. It's a training tank. There needs to be a con. I, I find that to be a very good con. I don't see the point in doing 320 on that because it, it would be like every other autoloader. Just high output. But do you want to know what tank I would love to see? Like the best possible buff that you could ever give? Uh, take the double tap down the tier 8. All right. I was, um, I use Facebook. I look at Facebook specifically for um, just people posting photos and seeing like uh, what's popular based upon like the Reddit community the Facebook community, the Discord community. Speaking of which, um, whenever they ask for player feedback, remember, when you post on Discord, you're not posting in the feedback community. You are posting in the trash bin. Remember that. You're posting in a trash bin. That is not feedback. That is a trash bin that they never look at. The reason why I say this is because I've gone over the bug reports inside that uh, trash bin, essentially, because <laughs> that's all it is. It's not player feedback. It's a It's a trash bin. And I've read over a lot of legitimate complaints, a lot of legitimate compu complaints about them changing the server, like changing the UI every single two months, three months, wh whatever the time is that they're doing it. Um, right. Or them adding in tanks and then never really rebalancing anything inside the game, but they still flood in stuff and they're just like, whatever, you know, or how people are getting really irritated because they, they said that they're going to stop doing um, reskins of tanks. Yeah, we got the T-54 Cobra, uh, which is exactly the same as two other Tier 8s in the game that are American, which is the Sergeant Slaughter. But then again, Sergeant Slaughter was released before they had mentioned the reskin ordeal. Um, and then the T-54 too. Like, we got three of the same tank. Uh, same thing about... Um, Demolisher, whatever. You know, that's a custom tank. Bone Shaker, TS5. This is before they mentioned it. But they're kind of a little bit hypocritical whenever it comes down to it. Because they still add in skinned variants rather than adding in a skin. You know, for instance, um, like the, the Bog Whore. I'll be honest, I never play the Bog Whore. And the reason why is because I can't control the way this thing looks. So I'm never going to pull it out. Uh, same thing about the Gorinch, you know, like I never, play. Yeah. it is a once a year tank that I play. Um, and then one that really irritates me is whenever you go over to China and you're looking at the 112, um, the 112 still has 175 pin. Yet when you look at the 111, it's got 196. And one of the biggest reasons why they're never going to buff the AP pin on this tank is because why would you buy the Def Chariot when you can get a tank with just a little bit less pin, preferential matchmaking? The 112. Less damage. Same gun. Literally the same gun. All the same stats, except for this one doesn't have a nerfed top speed. Um, and this one has all the complete benefits of preferential matchmaking. But instead, you're paying, what was it, like 11000 8000 9000 whatever the price is on the Def Chariot for a worse experience. You know, like, I, I would stop complaining about the Def Chariot if they give it a caliber 130 rather than 122, because this is a 122, yet it's got all the characteristics of a uh, 130 at the 460 alpha, and then they buff the heat pin from 250 to, like, 265. If they did that, I would stop complaining about this tank. Because that would give this thing enough diversity to make it worthwhile. <laughs> but it's not. Like, Blade, did I buy you the Def Chariot? Uh, I don't think so. I don't think I have that tank. Yeah, because I don't yeah, even honestly, play it. I never, like, it, it is... I play it when I hate myself. It's like the Passante C45. I play it when I hate myself. Right. And that's the only time. Anyways, I don't really have a whole lot to say today, except for whoever bought me that tank, please leave your gamer tag in the comments, because uh, for whatever reason, World of Tanks doesn't know how to properly update anything inside their system. Ever. Um. Anyways, I jumped on for like, I jumped on because I knew today was Tuesday, 
Oh yeah, see, there's all the premium time. And I never accept a single one of them. It was forced. Um, perfect timing. Anyways, you guys, uh, absolute crap, sh like crap show right now. Like uh, to give you an idea, my my bed is covered in stuff, and I I got boxes. I my dresser's out of my room. Um, we're going from fifteen hundred square feet to eight hundred square feet. It is gonna be a little bit rough. So, but we'll make it. You know. It's not like we haven't lived here for 14 and a half years and never missed a single rent payment. Kind of makes me think to myself, we should have just been paying a mortgage by this entire time. But life is life. Sometimes you get hit, sometimes you don't. If I would have got like really badly hit, I would have did an update on YouTube on my phone and just let everyone know, hey, I'm not dead, but I'm in a really bad situation. <laughs> Anyways, until next time. You guys have a great day. Yep. Have a good one. Yep. Great day after your night, whatever time you're catching this. Blade. <clears throat> yes. Wife's gone. Wife's gone. Yep. Yeah. It's going to be For a few months anyway. Yeah. See, Blade is uh, lonely now. So, yes. people out there, add Blade. All right. I'm going to go over <laughs> to his gamer tag. Add this guy. Blade. I don't care. Add him, play with him, World of Tanks, drag him places if you got to. Because I'm going to be busy for the next month. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, I'll okay. be doing a lot of running around. I probably won't be on much on the weekends, but... That's fine. I know, you're going to drive down there. Yeah, I get... Well, I love my... It's so expensive. <laughs> <down there. laughs> <laughs> all right, all things, we're, we're going to end the down. video. We're out of here. Catch you guys all next right. time. Peace.